All right, everybody, we're doing the Target set, $99.99, 400 card base set on hollow premium stock. You didn't expect the gold when it came, that's for sure. So what I did actually took me a couple days, but I got five more sets in that I had a buddy order for me. So I ended up opening 10 sets total. Good thing I didn't go overboard, right? You'll see what I mean shortly. I want to talk about a recap of this. I'm not going to show you the cards themselves. Same photos as the Donruss base set. But what I wanted to show you was, and these are cards that had issues. What happened was, this is, what is it, two, three, four, five, six of these. So out of the 10, six of these Trevor Lawrence's weren't gradable at all. Print lines, surface issues. This was a huge problem with this set as I was going through it. So much stuff was scratched up. A lot of the stuff would have, and this was especially true of some of the Brady stuff, base cards, so you may not care as much about that as the Trevor Lawrence rookies, but they would have these lines across the top. They didn't look like print lines. It just looked like kind of a print defect in the card, but they all had it. It was his Bucks card. Let me go ahead and grab that one out and show you that one. It was card number one in the set, that one. This one here. It's going to be hard to see on camera, I think. So what I'm going to do is try to show you real quick. Maybe try it this way. If I can't get it to show up, I will take some photographs of it so you can see it. It'd be running across the top here, and then sometimes it'd be running down near the bottom of the card. There we go. We kind of caught it a little bit there. But that one actually looked like it might be a print line. But more often it was kind of just like a defect with the print going across the top on that particular card. That one seemed to show up. Let me let me try to grab a different one. This is, there we go. There, you can kind of see it there. At first glance, if you get this and you open these up, and you can see something here as well, you probably caught it before I said it. But there it is right there. Yeah, so if you open these up, that's going to be something where if you're thinking about busting these open and grading some of the rookies mac jones probably the only thing worth grading for now at psa which i did hear that when i'm shooting this video a couple days from now they are supposed to open up a new service level people are speculating that it might be a hundred dollars i'm recording this video early morning on november 30th so by the time you see this that new service level should be open but if you were opening it up just thinking hey i'm going to bust out all the Mac Jones and send them off. I'll show you here shortly. So we got Trevor Lawrence there. It, it's not going to be as easy as you think. So that's on the seller side. Maybe these should be kept sealed, but there is something to be said about selling the Mac Jones out of there while he's hot because even on November 30th, I'm still seeing that card go for 130, 140, 150, somewhere in that range. Pay for your set right there. And then you'd have all of the other stuff. But like I said, it's pretty dicey if you open it up. So same thing here. Trask, one, two, three, four, five, six of those. Not gradable. Zach Wilson, same thing. Oh, before I forget, centering. This would be a pretty good example here. I know it's kind of hard to tell if you're just looking at it. But most stuff, I'm not going to say everything, but most of the cards were off just slightly. I want to say still within 55 45 let me look at the next one yeah same thing maybe 55 45 there was some stuff that did look to be outside of 60 40 usually it was the side to side centering yep another example here and yeah these are all different cards they all look the same just slightly off but the same thing with the zach wilson six of those not gradable fields i think i had six of those as well yep and then here's the Mac Jones cards. We got five of these, I believe. Yeah, so five of those, a couple Trey Lances. So what was it? No, three Trey Lances. So most of the Trey Lance stuff came out pretty good. So we need him to hit it big. <laughs> Mac Jones, let me show you those real quick. Let me take a look at these. Okay, that centering's off. Okay, that one's better. Good. Off a little, off a little. Okay, so these three are going to be off a little bit. And like I said, this is what you're going to encounter. Remember, I opened 10 of these. 
So I figured it'd give me a good opportunity to, who wants to sample one or two when you can do 10? I'll show you one, one at a time. This is an example of, they look really good, but then you take a look at the card itself and then you're going to see all kinds of scratches and stuff like that. This particular Mac Jones had the same kind of thing. There we go, perfect. That Brady had, you could see it going across the top there, right across his eye line, right there. And it runs all the way across the card. It's a little bit lighter on this side, but several of them had it. It's not visible really to the naked eye. Let's. Let's just say you picked up the card and you're like, you know, this is, you still got some light, but you don't really see it, right? That's why you've got to get in there with the magnifying glass, good lighting. I've shown these before in other videos, but I got a little one of these guys here that I use. I've got a little one of these I use and the lighting I use, I got a couple lights with some super bright bulbs there. Or once you angle it a little bit, then it becomes apparent and it's not a print line. If it were a print line, then you would be thinking, okay, I could deal with that, but, or maybe not. Some kind of, let me say design in the product, a flaw in the design of the card, but that's not every one of them. So it's, it's really hit or miss, and that's the point of doing this video. Just a review, more so than showing you everything. Just a review of what you would expect if you're opening this, hoping to grade or piece it out. And again, if you're on the buyer side as well, same thing, both sides can use this information to determine what they wanna do with it. I did get these four, three we'll say more so. These first three I thought were gradable. They didn't have any such issues. If you see anything like right there, that's on the generic card saver itself. This one here, you can see the centering is pretty well lined up on these. And then this one, the centering was off slightly, so it's a little bit chunkier over here. And I thought I might've saw a little surface nick. So that one may not go, may send those three to PSA once the new service level opens. I've got some, I'll show you this real quick. For the next video, it's going to be these. I got a bunch of these. I've got five on hand right now and a bunch more coming. So I'm going to bust open five of these. They've obviously got the purple pulsars in them. These are the target ones as well, 149. So I'm gonna bust these open, quality control it, see how it looks, come back and do another video for you guys and show you what to expect. So if you see these on the secondary market, or if you're thinking about opening them or buying singles, you can get a good idea. I think the thing that's always tr problematic, we'll say, is surface. You can see centering, but as you saw what I went through with the Mac Jones, right? When I was holding it back here, it looks fine. And then you get it in the mail or you're trying to grade it. And then you start fiddling with a little bit, get it under the lighting. Like I said, the magnifying glass. And all of a sudden you're like, hmm, that's not what I thought I was paying for. Or this isn't going to be a PSA 10. It might be a nine with that design defect. Because like I said, not a print line, but there were so many of the cards they would just have the slightest nicks in the surface or the slightest print line in it. It's like, ah, you know, so close. And you keep looking around and then you find it and you're like, fuck, right? <laughs> Let me talk about something else real quick and we'll wrap it up here. There were several players, I'm looking over here, I've got some cards set aside that were consistently good or bad. So Newsom, his cards were consistently good. And these are of the second tier type guys. I showed you the quarterbacks. Oh, Actually, before I forget, let me show you these wide receivers here. Same thing happened with them. Every single Kyle Pitts except one had some oh, surface scratching, pretty dejected on that because he's a really solid player. I know receivers don't sell as well as quarterbacks and all that, but you still like to see guys that are doing well starting off. You like to see those cards come out well. Devonta Smith, we got three, five, six. Did I count that wrong? That's seven. So seven of his cards, not gradable at all due to various surface conditions. Jalen Waddle, two, three, four, five, five of his. We snuck Najee Harrison with these guys so we can get him in there. 
two, three, four, five of his had issues. The Terrace Marshall Jr., there were four, I believe. Yep. And then three of the Jamar Chases had issues. So fortunately, the Jamar Chases came out good. But of course, you would hope at least half would be looking nice. And when I say not gradable, keep in mind, I'm just saying nine fringe 10 kind of stuff, in my opinion. I could be wrong about some things, but the Newsoms came out good. Joe Tryon came out good. Javante Williams, most of his stuff came out pretty bad. Owa, his stuff was pretty good. Michael Parsons was kind of like a 50-50, you know, like half were good, half were bad. Travis Etienne, most of his stuff came out pretty bad. Owusu, problematic on him. The Rousseaus, I think all of these but one. Same with Friermuth, like two of his only came out good. St. Brown, most of his stuff was pretty good from what I got. So again, that's just a recap for you. Just wanted to let you know what to expect and just show you some different things with these cards. If you have any questions, whether you're buying or selling, just let me know. So thanks for watching, everybody. Take care. Be well.